I'd like to bring up a, a comic. This guy's a very good friend of mine. I, I, I respect him so much. He's been performing comedy in San Francisco for 25 years. He's one of the best. Give a big round of applause for Kurt Weitzman. Thanks, Jim. Hi, nightclubbers. That is my stock opening line. It's usually ironic, but it's not tonight. It's really great to be here. Um, I, was, I went home. I know. Uh, I went home in the summer for 4th of July, and uh, 4th of July, and my father loves the 4th of July. I'm, I live in San Francisco, I could give a shit. But, um, you know, I, but he's like a big patriot. But it, it was an anniversary, because it was 10 years ago, on the 4th of July, that I first told my father I was gay. Thank you. I'm not gay. I just really hate my father, so. Of course, that's a joke. I'm gay. So, <laughs> I am gay, I can prove it. Uh, anybody? Uh, here's my impression uh, to prove that I'm gay. Uh, my impression of uh, Carol Channing <laughs> singing uh, David Bowie's immortal rock classic, Rebel Rebel. Here is Carol Channing singing David Bowie's immortal rock classic, Rebel, rebel. Rebel, rebel, put on your dress. Rebel, rebel, your face is a mess. Rebel, rebel, how could they? Hot trip, I love you. Put on your dress, your face is a mess. Don't you know that you're a juvenile? I just broke my face. Thank you, thank you. Because I... nobody believes me. <laughs> anyway, um... Let me tell you something. I fucking hate... I hate, and uh, I think that's commendable because San Francisco, uh, Californians are not very good at it. Here's my impression of someone from San Francisco getting angry. Someone from San Francisco getting angry. Hmm. That's inappropriate. Thank you. Here's my impression. Here's my impression of someone from the Bay Area saying no. Someone from the Bay Area saying no. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. It's my impression of someone from, from Los Angeles saying no. From Los Angeles saying no. Yeah, that's great. Let's do that. I'll call you Thursday about Wednesday. Yes, do it. <laughs> How come so many Christians are for the death penalty? Uh, it's like they don't even read their own cliff notes. It's odd to me, you know? Like, what is the thought process that brings you there? It's like, I don't know if it's good enough for our Lord. Good enough for some 14-year-old retarded kid. Come on, San Francisco. Because here's my point. Uh, the death penalty is not a deterrent to crime. That's my only point of it. Because you know why? It's not a moral issue with me. It's totally logical. Because we don't fear death enough to make it a deterrent to, to crime. What's the number one human fear? Anybody? Public. public speaking. Here's my thought. Get all the serial killers, mass murderers, make them do a comedy tour. Right? Yeah. 
call it America's Funniest Most Wanted, and you would have like the victim's families out front heckling. It would be the worst possible gig. Like every night would be like Modesto, you know? I mean, if you think that Jeffrey Dahmer jokes are bad, how about Jeffrey Dahmer jokes by Jeffrey Dahmer? You know, it's like, I wrote a book, it's a cookbook. Boo! And your feature act, Mr. Scott Peterson. Dating's weird. And your headliner, son of Sam, David Berkowitz, everybody. Dogs and cats are different. Because <laughs> cats don't tell you to kill people. Boo! Screw you, Berkowitz, you killed my sister! It'd be really cathartic for the crowd. It'd be like... Feel it as like a night of closure and chicken wings, it, you know. Did you have a good time? I made Manson cry. Best night in my fucking life. You kidding me? You know, Manson's backstage just going, they fucking hated me. They fucking hated me. I'm funny, right? I'm funny. Yeah, you're fucking hilarious, Charlie. It's like, it was a young crowd. They didn't understand the Beatles references. You get to L.A., you're going to kill. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All soon. It's an educated comedy crowd. I love it. Well, um, I don't think there's been enough female comics tonight. Um, I don't. I don't. But I'm not going to judge. But I want to dedicate the rest of my set to my favorite female comedian, of course, I'm sure you know, and she's not working, obviously, <laughs> anymore, but I would like, my whole rest of my set, I would like to dedicate, of course, to uh, Sarah Palin, because <laughs> fucking hysterical, and I remember, I look at Sarah Palin like I do the Kennedy assassination, I remember exactly where I was when I first saw her, it was the Republican National Convention four years ago, she comes on stage with her family, I hate to use the term white trash, I think it's really racist, so I'll just say non-ethnic compost, if that's politically correct. <laughs> she comes on stage with her pregnant teenage daughter and the fucking son-to-be with the shotgun to his head and to the JonBenet Ramsey kid licking the retarded child. I'm like, yeah! That's fucking great television! I don't get a chance to watch Mari Povich that often. I, you know, I don't have TiVo. It's, I work, you know? It's like... I think, first of all, I think it'd be great to have a female president. I think we all agree to that, because we wouldn't, wouldn't have to pay her as much. <laughs> but her house, her rules. But not that female president, because I have this weird fear built around, I know it's odd, it's, I'm a strange person, but uh, I, I just think that if, we, if, we, if she becomes president, her son Trigg might one day grow up to be president, because we already had the retarded son of a president grow up to be the commander in chief. <laughs> There's a precedent there, and I'm just, don't get me wrong, I think it'd be great to have a retarded president. I have no problem with that whatsoever. <laughs> but not a Republican retarded president, because a Democratic retarded president would be like, everybody gets pudding! <laughs> everybody gets pudding! <laughs> but a Republican would be like, give me all your pudding! <laughs> I want to push the big red button, Mommy, I want to push the big red button! So you have to be careful what retard you vote for. That's all I'm saying. And I only use the term retard because it's hurtful. That's the only reason. <laughs> this has been very nice. I've not gotten the light right yet, right? I'm, um, they're being no, they're being kind. I think you're gonna be along. Oh, there you go. Okay. Along with a joke. How's that? Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, I'll end with a joke. Uh, I went out on a date the other night, went out to dinner and a movie, uh, spent like 20 bucks. <laughs> Tell me about it. And uh, ended up back at my apartment. That was a really good day. And we, ended, we really got along. And, I, and my, uh, Out of the blue, though, my date turns to me and he goes, Kurt, I got to be honest with you, I do not have sex on the first date. And I'm like, fine. Um, how about the last date? Uh, <laughs> Thank you, everybody. You guys, I'm so sad. I'm so sad to see this place go. Where were you? <laughs> Tosca's might be closing soon, so go to Tosca's and drink, everybody. Drink a lot at Tosca's. Thank you.